What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Zero Fox Show video. My name is Zero. If you are new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Smash that like on the video. It really fucking helps out more than you think. And it's free, of course. But on today's video, we're going to be doing the online Navy SEALs test. If you weren't aware, the Navy SEALs is supposedly the US version of our SAS. But um, the SAS doesn't have an online test like this. So let's, let's try the online test, see if I would cut out to be a Navy SEAL or not, I don't know, let's find out. Many people say that they want to become a US Navy SEAL, but only a select few become SEALs. This quiz is designed to test your command skills, mental and physical strength and attitude to see if you really are the elite. You are one of the elite or just a pawn? This test will figure it out. Could you kill a man and feel nothing? Could you jump from an airplane at 30,000 feet? Are you willing to sacrifice anything and everything for your country, are you a US Navy SEAL? Okay, first of all, what is your age? What is your gender? I mean, yeah. Uh, you are in the last phase of the PST. You have to run a 1.5 mile jog in under 11 minutes. You see an opening to cut the course and nobody would see you. What is your course of action? Well, a mile and a half jog in under 11 minutes, right? British Army standards for a long time were one and a half miles in under 10 minutes 30, so it's not fucking, it's not too hard. Just carry on. Just get on with the fucking, get on with it, obviously. Um, suck it up and finish the run fairly. You were deployed into your first mission, a reconnaissance mission in northern Russia. You also have an optional objective to take out a black market dealer. You have the primary target in sight. He's coming out of the facility to take a piss. How do you proceed? There's not, there's not enough information to, to decide what you're going to do here, but okay. Tell him, tell your team to take, go down and kill him silently. You don't want to risk getting compromised. Um, right, evac time. You are four miles from the coast of the Okhotsk Sea but it is freezing and your team is not equipped for the aquatic extraction. There are patrols everywhere. How do you proceed? Go to the beach and wait for the Osprey to reach your position. Do not move and steal a truck heading out of the facility. Get your asses in the water, you were trained for this. Wait for something to happen. Mm, well, it's not an aquatic extraction if you're waiting for an Osprey. That's a V-22 helicopter. Go to the beach, that's where you were told to go. Um, and you're cold, so what? Suck it up, get there if you wanna get out of there. You are now called upon for a counter-terrorism operation in Berlin, Germany. There are 12 hostiles inside the perimeter of a 20-story hotel. How do you infiltrate the red zone? Take a helicopter to the roof and go in from the roof access. Take the sewers, Ugh. Go in guns blazing. Take the helicopter and rappel down the side of the building. Uh, well, the helicopter is gonna alert them that you are there. So if you land on the roof of the helicopter, you are, you're gonna let everybody, every terrorist in there know that you are on the roof. Um, going guns blazing, America style. Nope, not gonna work. Take the helicopter and rappel down the side of the building. Nope. Take the sewers. Sneaky, sneaky. A tango has acquired a hostage and is now using him as a human shield approximately 200 meters away. How do you neutralize the threat? Call your marksman in to take the shot. Risky. Throw a flashbang, quickly take him out if he hasn't killed a civilian yet. Just pound the fuck out of him with slugs, the hostage might take it. Might make it. The hostage might make it. Try to negotiate. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say negotiate. That seems like the sensible thing to do. Headshot or LTL. Blam! Tango eliminated. Taser time. Um, so LTL, if anyone doesn't know, less than lethal. Um, I'm gonna taser the cut. Yeah, because if you shoot in the head, boom, they fucking they don't even know what's hit them. They're a terrorist, they deserve getting fucking frazzled. Could you handle not telling any of your family, friends, or even your spouse what your job entails? If my commander gives you orders, I obey. Maybe just a small story. I can't keep my mouth shut for five seconds, hopefully. 
If my commander says it, I do it. You have, <clears throat> you have inevitably confronted your primary target with a face-to-face -face encounter. You can see his eyes and they are pleading to let him live. Your orders are to kill him and get out. What is your plan? Sorry, buddy. Just knock him out. Walk away. Make a bargain to send him to Cuba under the witness protection program. Um, sorry, buddy. My orders to kill you. You're, you're dead. You see a squad member take a round to the jugular. You know he will probably die within a minute. There's Harry Fire at your position and get your teammate. Would expose you too. How do you proceed? Uh, I'm coming, buddy. Have your team lay down to pressing fire and go get his ass. Drop your weapon and cry, asking yourself why you chose to do this. He's dead anyway, ignore it. Um, the most common sense thing there would be have your team lay down fire and then go get his ass. Single handedly, you have battled your way into a compound, save 20 or more hostages and are almost done. However, there are some rogue nukes inside the comp. Just some rogue nukes, just, for, just lying around as you do. All right, this is written by a 12 year old. However, there are some rogue nukes inside the compound that you are triggered, that you are triggered to launch. An airstrike can neutralize them, but then they will blow up. But then they will blow up and kill you. How do you advance? Call the airstrike, you are willing to die to save millions. Ah, run away, run away. Enter a self-destruct sequence, you still die. Call your leader and request guidance to try and disable the nukes. Um, well, I'd, I'd ask my boss before. I, I'd taken that responsibility, I'll fucking call the other one. You are old and grey and thinking about your military days, how do you remember them? Good old days, fought side by side with the most elite soldiers ever. Nah. Geez, that was a waste, I got to work in crappy conditions just my life, all for no recognition, what the fuck. You don't, you died a heroic death saving a teammate. Nothing much. Um, <laughs> that was a waste of time, there we go. Submit answers. Your result, welcome to the team, 91%. You show some, <laughs> you show extreme physical and mental strength. You have proven that how, you have proven that you know how to survive, keep your squad safe, and accomplish the mission with precision and stealth. 84% you're almost there. 19% probably not you. All right, so I'm a Navy SEAL now. Um, fuck, fuck this. Fuck off. I'm, I'm not a Navy SEAL. That's it, I'm a Navy SEAL guys. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Take the test, tell me what you did, stick it in the comment section down below, and I look forward to seeing you all on the next one.